Brussels has rejected reopening the withdrawal agreement after a new report warned the pact risked scuppering Britain's future independence. The European Commission insisted Boris Johnson would not be able to revisit the divorcee deal and should focus his energy on the future relationship talks. A spokesman said, we are not renegotiating the withdrawal agreement. The withdrawal agreement is already in force and we are now dedicating all of our efforts to agree a new partnership with the United Kingdom. The intervention came after the Centre for Brexit Policy published an 100-page analysis of the document that was mostly brokered by Theresa May's government. The dossier warned the withdrawal agreement contains poison pills which will undermine Britain's freedom and could cost the country £165 billion. David Frost, the Prime Minister's chief negotiator with the EU, has previously claimed there was not enough time to fix all of the defects in order to deliver the government's promise to get Brexit done. Future relationship talks between Britain and the EU are set to resume on Wednesday in Brussels. Mr Frost will lead a team of UK officials to the Belgian capital as part of the accelerated effort to secure a free trade agreement before the autumn. The two sides have failed to break the impasse with Brussels still insisting on access to Britain's fishing grounds and a regulatory level playing field. Former Brexit Secretary David Davis has urged a review of the withdrawal agreement if the bloc continues to resist offering Britain a standard free trade deal. Mr Davis said, it was implicit in the withdrawal agreement that we would have a free trade agreement. In the event that the EU is not offering a deal, we should certainly consider reviewing the withdrawal agreement. Mr Johnson has been adamant he will walk away from the talks without a deal if Brussels continues to drag its feet. The Prime Minister has said the country is prepared to do business with the bloc on World Trade Organization terms. Ministers today launch a £93 million publicity campaign to ready the UK for leaving the EU's single market and customs union at the end of the year.